Hey guys, welcome to the Mo and O Photo Show. Uh, I'm. I think I'm Mo. <laughs> Who am I? Who am what I? What day is it? Hey guys, this is Omar. Uh, welcome to the Mo and O Photo Show. This is week six of isolation, and we look different, man. It, it's not week six. It's like day one thousand seventy-four. <laughs> Have you woken up like thinking, I don't know what day it is? Yes, every day. I was like discussing what day yesterday was. And when I was told it was Thursday, yeah. boom. Yeah, totally. I was like, no, it's only Tuesday. My wife said, you know, uh, we could do bagels on Saturday. She said that today. I'm like, that's <laughs> tomorrow. And she's like, <laughs> shocked. <laughs> Damn it. Like, like everything has been thrown off kilter. Everything. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, but I mean, just to shed a little positive light on it, there has to be some stuff that, well, I'm going to say I haven't gotten to everything, but we've been kind of given the gift of time. Right. And so maybe I thought we could talk a little bit about what are some things that maybe you want to do, uh, some things that maybe are on your list of like things you never get to. And I know I have a couple. Um, so do you want to start or I want to start? Well, let me be honest with you, okay? So the reality of who I am is that no matter how much time I have, I don't do the things I never have time to do. It's just... I know. Um, yeah. Like, like, like I still... Um, I wanted to redo my website. I wanted to uh, touch up my... Wait, 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 wait. Well, let's not give them all away. Let's kind of make a list. So what did okay. you want... Yeah, you wanted to redo your website. That I've was on my list. Yeah. I've been trying to redo my website since like when I first started being professional i've never you know I, i've always used whatever uh, a vendor has provided so whether it's the smug mub you know instant build one yeah uh, and stuff like that but i've always wanted to like cater a website to myself but let me ask you a question uh, before we move on from websites do you think in 2020 websites are as important as they were in 2015 uh, uh, I would agree that they're less important but definitely uh -huh. still important I think that right. uh that social media and sharing on Instagram is kind of like how you it's replaced the website almost no what I, I was gonna I'm gonna anti that I'm gonna say your website is still to me supposed to be like your best work professional and your mission statement and I feel Instagram is how you sell yourself as a person do you know what I mean you're like, talking to the guy with 15 Instagram accounts, so yeah. Well, you should condense there, but I, I'm I, a that's, lot of people. <laughs> I feel that's that's kind of my philosophy for the website is is you could totally control everything you want people to see, your best work, what your mission statement is, what your business is about. But then you know, I think people, if they want to know you a little bit more, can go through your Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and that kind of stuff, and they're like, "Hey, I like this, like this guy." They're yeah, not so going to get that from your website. No, right. So here's what I figure: like, yeah, exactly that. They look at your. You, someone says, "Hey, photographer Mo Morales, he did a great job at my wedding. Go, go check him out." First thing they go to is the website. Yeah. And then they look around real quick, and then, uh, oh, what's this little Instagrammy link? I'm gonna agreed. Click. It, click it's click. yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness i reversed it how cool was that that was cool um, if you had something so, interesting on the other side of that camera yeah. it would have been good <laughs> all right so website i agree i i like my website however i want something a little you know when you have time you kind of want to i want to make it more gallery more photos more photos exactly yeah. exactly i think you know i think that since the last time i updated my gallery uh, my my available galleries. I'm like I've I've grown. I've I've become a different photographer. You know, uh, I think that it's that's why I want to like change the look of it so I could put up even fresher images of my repertoire. Nice. All right. Here's mine. You ready? Oh my. I want to take those images and actually spend more time on them because how many how many photographers that you love you go through their portfolio. You're just like damn, damn, and it's. Um, great retouching like they spend a lot of time on one photo and i think the images that are attracting people to your website or you're showing off on your website those should be like hyper edited you know yes. and and i i think yes. that's one of my things is um they're edited good enough but i want to raise the bar on my dodging and burning and uh just going beyond so you're number two is actually on my list too. Uh -huh. I, I've, I've been sitting here actually um, going through my super old catalogs of uh, you know hard drives to, to find an old image. 
yeah, like a 2010 image and find it and, and, and make it 2020 pretty, Ooh. you know? I've done that. Because think, yeah. think, about, think about the Lightroom Photoshop of 2010 compared to 2020. True. Yeah. You yeah. know, the, the tricks and stuff that you could do so much in um, <laughs> Lightroom that you don't have to actually worry about going into Photoshop as much as you used to have to be. Yeah. Used to have to used be. Used to have used to, to, to have be, have bro. To be. So listen, yeah. I went I went to my, <laughs> forget 2010, 2014 was like one of the first mitzvahs that I did. And I was slightly horrified that my white balances, I couldn't believe that I delivered, I delivered these, these photographs. And you were super proud of them. And too. they They're love like, them. They're like, oh, they They're hired like the me again. They hired forever. me like two more times. I'm like, what are you? <laughs> so I, I actually am going to my old galleries and um, I'm revamping them and sending them back to the clients, which is time consuming. But, That's very nice. Yeah, but I'm going through some of my 2014s and I'm fixing like silly white balance problems. So let me say something. Uh, let me open up the, uh, let me pull the curtain back a little bit. Yes. Uh, DJ lives downstairs and his DJ equipment is completely under my office. So he's decided he wants to practice in case you hear some kind of <laughs> boom, boom, I thought you, boom in the background. Oh no, I haven't heard, but I thought you were like cool of a sudden with your... No, no, no. Whoever uh, is has the headphones on while they're listening, if they hear any bass in the background, that's what's going yeah, on. I can hear it a little <laughs> bit. All right, so we got one website, two edit old photos. Right. Um, what else we got? I got a couple more. Uh, here's a weird thing. Uh, I mentioned this last time during our, our, our talk, but I really want to... I really want to get out and capture the desolation while I can. Yeah. Does that sound weird? Like I really, uh, I, I, we we spoke earlier, and you know I'm I'm super paranoid about the world right now and catching anything. But at the same time, as a as a um, creative person, I I just I, I want to photograph dead empty space. Yeah. Does that sound no, weird? No, it doesn't sound weird. I think it's uh, the photojournalist in all of us. And uh, I went out, you know, I went out to New York before this all started when I knew they would lock yeah. down the city and it was cool to be out there. It was, it was surreal. And yeah. I think 12 o'clock in the afternoon and you were all alone. Totally. And, um, you know, soon they're going to ease up all the restrictions and people will be out again. So the opportunity mm -hmm. of capturing all these monuments and things empty is is fleeting, you know. I just saw a video today. A guy uh, on a helicopter flew over L.A. and he flew over Disneyland that was closed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, those of you listening in the audio, uh, you got to check out the video to see Mo and I look completely different, man. It's been a long freaking... Listen, this, this, this isolation is really taking a toll on us. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm just itchy. I don't know why. Um, okay, here's another one. So I have a Lightroom catalog that I considered my family slash personal work, and it's got like 400,000 photographs in it. And if I scroll through it, there's a gazillion test shots of like my Fuji, like of my Hulk statue. Mm -hmm. I would say there's probably <laughs> 10 to 20,000 photographs that don't need to be printed, seen or anything. And so, so like re-skimming them? Yeah. Re editing. No, re no. Re removing the edits. Remove, removing re those images. Yeah, the edit's the wrong word. Removing the clutter. The clutter. So, oh, beautiful. You said it perfect. I need to declutter my photo collection. And now some people always ask me, do you have different Lightroom catalogs? and Or do you have one Lightroom catalog? What's your philosophy on that? Because I'll tell you mine in a sec. So, um, here is my philosophy and what has happened of my philosophy. My philosophy is one catalog to rule them all, right? <laughs> but over the years, I've actually had to set up separate catalogs. Like I have, whenever you've given me work, I have a separate Omar catalog. Yeah. I have my catalog. I have, uh, you know, a glamour catalog now. Um, and ultimately, it's it's the right thing to do to separate your catalog depending on you know what you're doing but to me as a person who wants to now go back and find something oh, it's yeah. been kind of hard yep. because i have so many catalogs now yeah and and you know lightroom is so good at opening up the next catalog <laughs> yeah let's keep it moving jorge come on <laughs> pop pop let's go so uh, my philosophy is again i used to have a, a catalog per year but exactly what you just said, if you wanted a picture from 2008, you got to go open up that catalog. You know, you can't compare photos from different years. You can't find no. all your images. 
you know, those of you that don't know Lightroom too well, you can go into the metadata and say, you know what? Show me every photo I took at like 1200 ISO. You know, you with 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 the Canon, you with know, the Canon exactly. or just you, you could drill it down. You could yeah. drill down. Hey, I, every 16 millimeter uh, picture I've ever taken at ISO 1000, you know, that kind of thing. As a person who works in the corporate world, the Lightroom catalog is the most um, sortable catalog I've ever worked mm -hmm. with. I used ma many databases, but the database that's tracked in Lightroom. <laughs> is the most amazing like i i was looking for a picture taken at a certain time at a certain date because that's what the person told me you know my parents were leaving and they they were leaving at four o'clock and you took the picture but you didn't include it and i went back exactly to that time slot area like you know between range and i found it and i edited it, like two or three of them that's for them cool. and then I, I sent it to them because I didn't realize those were the only pictures that the parents, because they came and left because they were like traveling. They were like going from Spain and they stopped in New York and they were actually heading to Russia. I'm like, well, okay, that's a weird trip, but okay. <laughs> and um, so yes, I was able to find it and send it to them and they were so happy. So I think it's just a very robust catalog. So getting rid of the clutter would help speed up that process. Yeah, too. yeah. It does slow down. See how I brought that back? Yeah, See I that? saw that. Yeah, uh, we went all the way to Russia in that conversation. <laughs> Yeah! Spin take, baby! Oh! That, that almost came out. That almost came out. So I was going to oh. say, so basically the way my catalogs work is I have one big catalog with every year from 03 to now. And then my client catalogs are just, you know, individual. But the, one of the things I want to do is clean that puppy up, man. Clean it up. I'm going to turn the camera around so that I can lower some of this light so that you don't see me in my underwear so what <laughs> what what it's hot in here so i'm filming in my undies almost. you're kidding <laughs> all right here we go you really don't have pants on what do you have pants on or no? did you did you hear about that that cnn reporter who uh was doing a news bit yeah, and, and he stood got, up he, re he didn't realize well i don't know if he didn't realize that the camera was still rolling but he didn't realize that yeah you shouldn't probably do that with your but your Hooji McCollets. Yeah. Uh, In your Hooji McCollets. Yeah. Without being able to I wear pants all the time. So I all these jokes about not having pants on, I don't get. <laughs> well, no. So here's the reason why I'm not currently wearing pants. Um, because of the growth of my hair and this office with no air conditioning, I needed to be as cool as possible. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm not, so, I'm not putting but this I was on wearing, the podcast. <laughs> no, put it right on there. Rock it, son. <laughs> All right, wait. Let them all know. I'm going into another thing I wanted to take care of. Okay, so. You one... don't hear the DJ downstairs? He's going off. <laughs> oh, he totally is. Let's rock it. Man. All right. And I can't tell him to be quiet because I tell him to be quiet. Like, well, you know, today's Friday. He should be quiet. I tell him not to do it during the week. Totally. Bastard. Okay, edit old work. Oh, got one. Uh, printing work, which I actually did today. I printed. That's on my, I was going to say number three. Yeah. yeah, and you know why, Papa? Why you have to do Dame. it? Uh, Dame. I tried to print something, this picture of my grandma, my great grandma. I printed this photo, but this was actually, this is my great grandmother that was born in 1900. Wow. And I, she looked great. I printed that from a negative, but I printed about six copies beforehand because my print head, um, you know, the ink little print head was, they were clogged. And uh, it's because you don't use your printer. The the ink gets right. dried up and all the print, the print head is, I was almost thinking of taking it to repair until I found this great YouTube video on how to unclog your, you know, physically unclog the print head because you can do some stuff with software to try to do it. The, the printer sort uh -huh. of tries to clean itself. That didn't work at all. So with alcohol, I unclogged the printer and it started working again. Let me ask you a question, nice. brother. Let me ask you a question. Talk to me, ma'am. Habla me. What are your thoughts on um, 40 year old YouTubers that wear hats? <laughs> I don't have a problem with anyone wearing hats. Because you're think, a hat uh, wearer. I think if, if you're indoors at, at, at a, a K, like for instance, the Tony Soprano line, I get it. That I respect. You're at you don't a restaurant. wear a hat in a restaurant. Yeah. Or you're someplace semi formal or, you know, above the occasion. If you're just lounging, but it, put your hat on, man. Do what you got to do. You know what it is? As a bald man, um, I'm not ashamed of being bald, but I've been, I've been made to feel awkward, you know, like if I, like right now, you know, if it wasn't cause I had all my hair growing in, um, I would have 
I would have be rocking my cap because I just feel better with a cap on. And it's weird because it's it's society. Like like society says that a woman who doesn't shave is should be looked down upon. Yeah. And and now that bald heads are cool, that's fine. But I I was bald since the twenty when I was since my twenties where it wasn't cool. So I, I was brain shamed into hiding my baldness yeah. where now it doesn't really matter. I as don't much. know why, but I just I just don't understand why YouTubers wear caps and then their lighting, you know, their eyes are kind of covered by the cap. Oh, I'm yeah. like, because they're not good. Yeah, <laughs> maybe <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. They're like, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything no, actually, else? He's, he's oh, good. I got another thing that I wanted to try to figure out. Getting my f- wait, wait. Did we did we actually talk much enough about the printing though? Like, oh I, no, I go ahead, go ahead. Because I want to print stuff because um because it's it's you should you should everyone should look at their catalog of work and be able to find three, four, ten things that should be hanging on a wall somewhere. Yeah. Um, I think if it's in a if it's in, in a digital catalog where no one is seeing it, you're not only doing a disservice to yourself, but you're disservice to anyone who could be seeing how awesome your work is. Even if no one, on. you know, yeah, you're you're so overexposed, brother. Uh, I would say if no one, even if no one sees your work, like holding on to a photo, like look at this, look at this photo of my dad when he was like younger than we the were. The one you posted the uh, the one you posted the other day of him on the corner. I'm like, no, Omar doesn't look anything like his father. <laughs> Did you see oh that? Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> that was like, I thought it was you at a hot second. I'm like, why is he wearing that 70s outfit, son? <laughs> oh, yeah. My gosh. That's amazing. Uh, it's so holding on to a photo. Um, I'll show you the best way to po- hold on. As he walks away, I'll keep talking. Rah! My DJ downstairs. Boom, All right. Boom, this is an boom. old photo, but this was in the garage and I took it out. I'm going to replace this photo. Uh, just a simple black frame with a white mat gives you a nice classic gallery look to your images. And uh, that's what I recommend. You know, recommend that. Yeah, not only that, but I have so many old pictures that that I haven't printed in a while. Like I have the, the multiple mows over there. I have the um, uh, long exposure of a park here in town over here. And, and I love them. And I'm like, but I love a lot more of my stuff, you know? Um, yeah. So I need to print more just for that whole thing. What printer you do know? you have? And that, that, that goes into a, oh, I don't have any. Um, I have to send mine to, to a, a wholesale printer probably, you know. Yeah, printer. Speaking well, of, do you, do, you, do you use any wholesale printers that you could recommend? I do. I use B, uh, Bay Photos. Same. <laughs> I was going to say uh, printers are kind of a pain. When you research uh, photo printers, really the good ones are huge. There's, they're tanks. They're so big, number one. Two, the ink is crazy expensive. Uh, so any, it would be great to have a tiny printer with, you know, archival prints, sorry, archival ink that can make five by sevens, you know, but they don't really make that. Most of them are office office printers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I don't even have one for my work um, because we're kind of a green company. So they, they can, they've authorized me to buy one, but they told me to, you know, spend under $50. I'm like, what printer am I buying for under $50? Yeah. So anyway, that I couldn't, I couldn't sneeze for under $50. All right, I got one more. My last one. Shoot. So the last thing I've been trying to figure out uh, that I've been wanting to do is somehow to get not only my photos, but uh, to send to my clients. Everyone's got a 4K TV now, right? And, and photographs look amazing on a 4K TV. There's things like Chromecast, and you can use Apple TV, and you can use a Roku if you have Google Photos. There's an app on Roku, which lets you stream your Google Photos. But there is no universal thing where I could say, hey, here's your photos, client. Uh, but I want to figure out a good way to stream, hit a button on the Roku and stream like, uh, you know, our vacation photos and stuff. So that I'm working on. That's an awesome thing. Like I always wanted to do that too, especially when I was presenting to my clients, something I could just take to them so that they can then put it on. I want to put something that they could, I could sell to the client as a, like a digital presentation. Yeah. And you know what I thought of always is a th- little uh, thumb drive, you know, a thumb drive with all the images, but some people can't even plug that in, access a folder. Right. It, nothing right. is easy, really. Speaking of easy, look what I found the other day. Can you see that? The, the iPhone SE? This is the iPhone 4. Oh, actually. wow. It looks like the SE. That's cool. It's so small. So I found this, and I was really like, I wanted to show Omar this, but I showed everybody it now. What? <laughs> DJ downstairs. Oh, my God. All right, guys. i uh, got to go get a haircut. I don't know. Uh, this hair is hot, man. 
And I'm good. I'm going to let it grow for another month or two. <laughs> So I hope you guys are staying safe and please remember to uh, follow the rules for your country unless you're Florida or Georgia, you know, <laughs> uh, do what you want to do. I anyway. would say go hey, against quit. your uh, your state there. Yeah, go. Make sure you share us. Make sure you, you you subscribe. Make sure you put a comment below on what you're catching up with in the photography world during this free time. <laughs> during all this free time that we have that is so amazing here let me let me <laughs> let my head breathe oh uh you know people oh. with hair don't know what they're missing man this is great <laughs> so refreshing <sighs> i just like cool down 55 i degrees know bro you don't even look at this whack of sweat right here oh that's yeah, you can put your pants back on now <laughs> oh no 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 baby they're off <laughs> they stay off all right. all right bro i'll see you next week yeah. uh try to don't threaten me bro. come on Try to get out there and Yo. walk, man. No one's going to attack you. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to take my, I'm going to find uh, my memory cards and I'm going to get out there Space with my suit. A7 III and, uh, you know, rock out with my DJ downstairs and, you know, put some photography back in totally the Totally, you know? All right, man. All right. Well, stay beautiful. High five on this side. Wait. Oh, it's wrong. It's the other way. Last time I was. No, no. You just come get okay. me. It's totally backwards. There you have to do it the other way. Yeah, right. go there. Oh, <laughs> oh,